Hello my friends and Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Thank you for joining me once again today. So what are we looking at? What is that? Well, that's your skin. Well, it's somebody's skin. What the topic is that we're going to be talking about is poor breathing. And we're going to be giving you techniques so you could do it yourself and start to practice it. Uh, one of the things I'd like to suggest is before you start practicing building energy and taking in energy, really what we need to do first is what we call purgation. And it's basically getting rid of stagnant energy. So please do check out um, my short Qigong program because that's basically purgation plus what we call the eight pieces of brocade. And uh, so that will get rid of stagnant energy in your body as well as it will also open up the 12 primary meridians in your body. And the 12 primary meridians are the channels through which, they're the main channels through which the organs are fed uh, with life force. And so you are much more than a physical body. The physical body is supported by the energy bodies. And if it weren't for the energy bodies, there would be no physical body. The physical body is the last manifestation of the being. And so one of the most powerful techniques you can use is poor breathing. It can totally revitalize you. It can stave off illness. It is part of what is called iron shirt uh, technique. And iron shirt qigong is something that was thought to make you almost invincible with common, regular, steady practice. It can definitely boost your immune system it can just give you such a pick-me-up and also just instill this complete sense of wellness. It's a beautiful thing to do and to learn how to do it. So again, before you actually do the, this particular technique, I would definitely do some energy techniques to get rid of stagnant energy. But this video is going to be all about poor breathing. So the premise is what we're doing is we're drawing in the life force through all the main gates of the body, as well as also through the skin itself. Now covering the main gates that we're going to be focusing on, we're going to focus on the Yong Quan, which is in the foot, also known as the bubbling wells or the bubbling springs. And it's also the K1 point, or the first kidney point in the, in the kidney meridian. And then the Laogun, which is in the palm. And, and you will feel both of these points getting warm as you draw energy into your body. Yes, my friends, this is real. This is real. This is a practice that is very, very ancient. And I believe that this practice was handed down to us from a lost age, a lost civilization, or perhaps even handed down to us from the stars and from beings that came here previously. And this will really work to change your whole constitution to make you so much healthier and stronger. The other point you're going to be focusing on is the Bahui point, which is up at the crown. If you feel your head, it's right where your hairline basically all emanates from. It's also the soft spot in the baby's head. And this is where uh, several of the pieces of the skull come together. And it's a primary energy gate. It's also where your crown chakra is located. So Tai Chi and Qigong. Qigong is 5,000 plus years old. It's a well-being practice from China, Siberia. It used to be called Daoyin. Originally as a form of internal alchemy. Used to extend life and enhance physical and mental power. And you know what? You'll find these exercises hidden in the Western mystery tradition. You will find exercises like this hidden in Kabbalah, hidden in Hermeticism, hidden in things that were thought to be the black arts in the West. But in reality, they're just forms of energy work in order to make your body healthier and stronger, as well as make you sharper mentally. Ki, Chi, Prana, Vril, it's all life force and energy. Gong just means work. Three exercise parts, the mind, the breath, and the body. Now, Tai Chi is, is Qigong combined via Tibet with Indian Buddhist yoga. In a sense, it's basically 
it's a martial form of qigong. So it's it's basically a self-defense form of qigong. Whereas qigong itself is is all about health and wellness and not necessarily in defense of oneself. So we're going to be utilizing dantian breathing or abdominal breathing. Uh, the tongue stays on the roof of the mouth right behind the two front teeth. As you breathe in, diaphragm goes downwards. Your chest doesn't rise. Your diaphragm goes down, pushes the belly out, but it also pushes on all sides of the abdomen. So you should feel the sides expand and the lower back expand as well, and that's the trickier part. It's easy enough to push our belly out as we breathe in, but you must feel it expand all the way around. So let's just take a couple deep breaths right now. Sit nice and straight. Relax. Your back is straight. Hands are comfortable. Feet are flat on the ground. And I want you to visualize that as you're breathing in, you're going to start to draw energy through that Bahui point in the crown. You're also going to draw it through your feet in the Lao Gung point, or I'm sorry, in the Yong Quan, and then also through the hands as well in the Lao Gung. And so you're going to feel those chakras all getting warm and starting to wake up. And so the visualization is you're drawing the energy in through those points first. And your diaphragm goes downwards, your belly expands. You also feel expansion on the sides and also in the low back. And sometimes my back will actually crack when I do this. And it's a good thing. It's like going to the chiropractor. And then as you exhale, it's just a reverse. The belly comes in. Feel the sides and the low back come in as well. And nice, deep, smooth, rhythmic breaths. So what we want to do is have our breathing be slow and regular and, and relatively even at first. And then as we get deeper into this, we increase the inhale. And so we'll, we'll expand the time that we're actually breathing. And when I'm deep in this meditation, one breath might even take a minute or more for an inhale. It, and I'm also pulling in so much more chi with each breath as I continually slow my breathing down and make it go deeper and deeper and deeper. And I could feel then an electric sensation come over my entire skin and my entire body gets energized. And we are electromagnetic beings. Remember, my friends, this is an electric universe. And you are a part of that electric universe. So... There's other points to take into consideration. So view your, your K1 points, the points in your feet, the bubbling wells, bubbling springs. View that you yourself are like a tree and you're gonna sink your roots into the earth and you're gonna hook yourself up to the earth energy. So feel it kind of spiraling down. You'll feel this spiraling sensation because all of the chakras look like tornadoes they're just like tornadoes they're just like hurricanes they're cyclones they're they're whirling and spinning like a cyclone and so you are going to be sinking these cyclones in your feet deep into the earth you're going to go and hook up with that ball of plasma energy that's in the center of the earth and that energy is going is it's limitless energy and it's going to supercharge your body and provide you with tremendous energy and you will feel yourself rooted just like you were a tree so you're going to be rooted to the ground just like a tree and there are qigong masters that 20 people could try to pull it, push over at the same time and because of their rootedness they won't be able to push them over and so you're going to cultivate that feel also the crown chakra spiraling drawing in the cosmic energy down through the crown chakra into the body so you you have the rooting going into the earth and you also have unlimited completely unlimited immensely powerful cosmic energy flowing down through the crown chakra at the bahui point in the crown of the head your tongue is always to the roof of the mouth right behind the two front teeth. Lightly you pull in the perineum, which is basically between the genitals and the anus. So that area you pull in. It's almost like you're doing a little bit of a Kegel type exercise. 
while we're drawing in this breath. And you draw it in as if you are sucking a milkshake, a super thick milkshake through a straw. So you do it as if you're feeling a little bit of resistance and that this will become natural in time. And that's how you're drawing the life force into the body so that we're going to see it penetrating all the layers of the body. So you're going to see the life force coming in, not only through those chakras that we were talking about, also the rest of the major chakras, it's going to flow through as well. The third eye chakra, the throat chakra, the heart chakra, solar plexus chakra, the uh, navel chakra, the sacral chakra, the root chakra, which is in between the two feet, uh, right at the perineum point. The bubbling wells, also in the palms, the crown, and then you're going to also feel it penetrating across the entire surface of your skin. And so really this is an ex this is an exercise in visualization. And visualization is key. First you have to be able to see it. You have to tell your body this is what we are doing. And you have to visualize and see it in your mind's eye and you just keep practicing it. And your body will adapt and your body will understand what you're doing and it will start to do it. And then in time it'll do it automatically. All you'll have to do is, is just find a trigger and the trigger could be as simple as closing your eyes. As soon as I just close my eyes and still myself, I automatically start poor breathing. And, and that is such a powerful thing when you get to that point. Now I love to sit in bed when I first wake up and when I'm going to sleep. And this is what I do. And this starts the real rejuvenation of myself. So when we see it, we see the energy penetrate through all the layers of the body. It goes through the skin. It goes through the uh, tendons, the ligaments, the fascia, which is the connective tissue as well. So all through all the layers of the skin, through the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, in through the fascia, into the organs, and then into the very bones themselves where it goes into the bone marrow and it's nourishing the blood. It's nourishing the red and the white blood cells. It's strengthening the immune system. It's strengthening and energizing the blood. It is making you stronger, healthier, and more vibrant with each breath. So what we're going to do is we're going to be drawing it in and we're basically storing this energy throughout the entire body, but especially in the bone marrow. And so each breath, inhale, draw in the energy. And let's, set, let's start out with a nice easy breath. We're going to go a count of four on the inhale. And then we're just going to hold it for one, two. And then we're going to exhale for four. And then hold for one, two. So it'll be like this. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two. So we're going to adapt that pattern at first. And then as you get in there longer and longer, you will shift it so that you're, you're holding and inhaling for, well, your hold, you could keep the same, but your inhale and your exhale go to six seconds. So more of a inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold, one, two, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold, one, two, and repeat the process. Nice, smooth rhythm. And then also you, you're extending out the time. Now you could, in your first few sessions, just stay with that. Just stay with a four count even, that's fine. In time, you'll go deeper and deeper. And like I was saying, sometimes when I'm deep in practice, I'm probably doing one inhale every minute, 90 seconds. One exhale about the same. So you slow your breath down, but what you're doing is you're drawing in so much more life force with each pull of that breath that you will feel it. 
and there are Qigong masters that allegedly, and I haven't seen this verified, but that allegedly could stay underwater for 30 minutes or more because they could hold their breath so well. And they could actually, some of them, there are some legends of yogis that could stay underwater even longer than that uh, because of their ability to draw the, the um, oxygen from the water itself. So don't accept limitations. Don't accept any limitations. And then practice this. Practice this. And then while we're doing this, we're going to be seeing ourselves encapsulated in this pure, pure crystalline light. Now, depending on your circumstance and what you're going through physically, it's always safe to use a, a brilliant, pure white light. You could also use a crystalline green light, a vibrant crystalline green, which is, is going to always be very healthy to the physical body. And it's going to be nourishing to the physical body. It's going to also go ahead and basically dislodge any negative energies that are there too. It's, it's gentle. It's completely safe. And then in time, you could add different colors, which will have different effects. And you could in, end up using different colors in certain areas so that if you had for instance, you know, a lot of aches and pains in the lower back, a sky blue color would be very soothing to that. But for the purpose of energizing the body and energizing, charging, cleansing the blood, strengthening the immune system, strengthening the red blood cells, um, I would strongly recommend you stay with either the just pure crystalline white or go with a crystalline vibrant green. Any sorts of health problems going on, autoimmune uh, problems, inflammatory problems use the crystalline green and that will that will heal speed the healing process in the body as well so i hope you guys found this informative it's really just a, ma a matter of practicing it practicing 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 and you will feel this start to happen you'll feel tingling first you might feel tingling in these chakras then you might start to feel tingling all across the surface of the skin. And then you might feel an electromagnetic sensation. It might feel at first like static electricity all over the surface of your skin. And then you'll start to feel this wonderful humming and vibration that is just so healing in and of itself. And um, it's just a case of practice, my friends. Practice, practice, practice. But that is the basic technique. So know that each breath, you're drawing in the life force, you're drawing in the chi through the skin, through all those chakras, bringing it into the body, going again through every layer of the skin, going through the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, the fascia that wraps everything together, going through the organs, going into the bones, going into the bone marrow, nourishing the blood, nourishing the red blood cells, nourishing the white blood cells and storing the energy inside the bones so that when you stop the process and you stop your meditation see the bones glowing in this energy feel them glowing see the glow extend out through all the body totally encapsulating it in this beautiful light that is so healing so revitalizing so energizing so pure completely restoring all balance to you, to your body, complete sense of perfect health, vibrant health, perfect well-being. If you could practice this on a regular basis, you will completely change your health. You will strengthen yourself beyond what you thought was possible. You will also root and ground yourself. And this is the type of thing we need to be doing with everything happening right now with the earth changes, my friends. This is exactly the type of exercise you need to be doing to sink yourself, sink your vibratory level to that of the earth so we can rise upwards with both the earthly and the heavenly cosmic energies coming in. And so I would heartily recommend you guys do this on a daily basis. See if you could do it just even for 5 to 10 minutes while you're in, in bed before you get up out of bed. So when you wake up, do this practice before you leave bed. So the kids don't know you're awake, your spouse doesn't know you're awake, the dog doesn't know you're awake, stay still. Go ahead, do this practice for 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever it is, whatever you could squeak in. And then when you lie down in bed, do this practice again. And you're going to start to energize yourself and balance yourself and harmonize yourself. And you will find that this is 
an amazing transformation that you are making occur in yourself. So do these things. I, I, I'm telling you, this is an amazing practice. Also check out my short Qigong video and then my full Qigong video. And I'm going to give you guys some more uh, secrets, so to speak, and ways in, of, of basically elevating where you're at energetically, strengthening you in every single way, and helping you to not only get, get through these times, but basically lifting you up into a whole new vibratory level. And, and it's all going to increase your abilities. It's going to increase your psychic abilities, your sensitivity. You'll be able to see things, know things much better than you do now. And uh, it's a huge, amazing process and practice with tons of benefits. So as always, my friends, please do like to uh, support the channel. Subscribe and click the button for updates. And, and also share with as many people as possible so we can wake people up to their, their own divine potential that lies within them and reclaim their health and reclaim your health, my friends. As always, may you be blessed with abundant life, peace, happiness, well-being. Namaste and God bless, my friends.